Hi everybody, so today I have a lot of lip colours I want to show you. I have quite a few of them, which I have separated them into three categories. So the super nudes, the brown nudes and the pinkish nudes. So they will be more um, wearable towards the end. I'll do a lot of swatches, which I have to do very quickly. So a lot of names and the numbers I won't be mentioning in the, in the video, but you can find them all at the information bar at the bottom. So let's get started. So I have my super news here, so I'll go through them one by one. So I'll start with this Inglot crayon, which is the one, the super powerful news lipsticks. This one, you can get Inglot on its website and also Westfield. So it's very dry texture, definitely matte, but it's something I would like to use to basically mattify your lips and totally change your lip colour. The other two actually are two lip liners from MAC. I'm not sure whether the Naked liner it's permanent I think it's permanent now but this is the naked liner and this is one from the sailors collection uh, but they are very very similar to each other which I, I'll show you I'm sorry that I have I have some limited edition ones but um hopefully you will be able to find them in COs and um, a lot of they do re-promote so the naked one I got them originally in 2009 or 10 and then I've seen them re-promoted which I've got a backup from the other one it's um, so you can see the, the Sonder, which is a limited edition one, is just a tad darker. So as you can see, they are really, really light. So these colours definitely not on its own, but they are great liners. The other one is the Revlon um, Matte Lip Colour in um, number one, Nude Attitude. So this is the first drugstore kind of nude colours I remember came out, and it was a huge rave. So I had it from the very beginning, but I haven't used it for a long time. I don't know why. I think I just got other products. And then the other one is from Sephora, its own brand. And this one has just got some glitters. So it's got glitters inside. And this one is a sheer kind of shiny, moisturizing kind of lip color. So really comfortable to wear. This smell really, really nice, like um, some kind of fruity smell, but very um, unique fruity smell. And then the last one is the Y Cell one. So this is the R Rouge Pure or Rouge Pur um, in the old packaging. So um, I'm not sure whether you know they have uh, the same color, but I believe they have some one color that is very very similar than this. Um, and in the in the new kind of packaging, and this is the color I have at the today at the moment. So it's I'll put it on. So it's very very pinkish nude. I personally don't have a much good relationship with YSL lipsticks. Um, I have the one in the um, Rouge Volupt which is impossible to wear to be honest. I have to dab them on because they're so creamy and they don't stay on and they set into fine lines so um, that's definitely an, a no-no for me. <laughs> anyway, the other two actually are two lip glosses which are very pink, milky kind of colours, really light. This one is from Gemma Kit Makeup School. Um, I got this one from a magazine for free, but from the tube you can tell they are very, very similar. So I'll swatch them together for you. So I'll swatch them on the side. So this is the Gemma Kit. And then um, this is the Revlon. So this is the Revlon um, in Peach Petal. I believe. So this are the from the tube and this is the swatches. So the Revlon one is slightly more on the yellow side and the Gemma Kit one is slightly pinky. And then very last are two MAC lipstick, um, lip glosses. This one is in Cream Sheen in Boy Bait. So it's on its last leg. I'm not really using it now because uh, it's really, really old. I'll put it on this side. But I'll get a new one. This is my favourite cream machine formula, it's really nice to wear as well. And the other one is just a clear uh, dazzle glass. It's really, really pretty to lay on top of anything. You won't be able to see the glitters inside, um, but under light, it is amazing. So all the dazzle glasses, they got such nice glitters. They're a bit sticky though, so <laughs> something to put onto the center of your lips, but not to use, you know, all over, because otherwise you just get your hair all over it. So that's all the super news. So I had really hard time to take it off the, uh, the the liner, so it's still a bit there, so hopefully it won't affect my swatches. And then I'll start with drugstore lip products on this category. I 
think I can give it an order. So the first one, which is um, probably the cheapest one, is the Natural Collection from Boots. So this is Boots on brand. But I love their um, lipsticks. In fact, they are creamy. They are no glitters. It's just a cream formula. These are really brown. So it is a very kind of brown lipstick. This color is in Fig. I really like this color and it's definitely worth the money, it's really good buy. And the other one is the Maybelline one, which is the 14 hour stay one. They have two colours, this is the lighter brown and they have a darker, even darker brown. So this is in 6110 beige for good. It smells great as well, it smells really really fruity and it's not drying, although it's 16, it's, it claims to be 14 hour staying power. Not gonna stay for 14 hours though. <laughs> And then the next one is from Collection 2000, so it's their Cream Puff. Again, very affordable and very good value for money. This is a cream, basically a lipstick cream. Again, the colour is really nice and it can mute out your lip colour as well, so something really great to use underneath, a lip gloss. And then the last one, is, not the last one, the um, first high-end um, makeup brand is from um, this one is from Clarence it is their Rouge Hydra nude number four so this one is really moisturizing really really good it's got vanilla taste and I've used quite a bit of it although there's still a lot left so that's the one and then the other one which is from Chanel so this is from their Chanel Rouge à so this is their velvety kind of finish and it's got a clip pen so really cool and uh, really nice packaging this is really really brown so this color as you can tell it's really brown but they are really wearable that you can still wear them they are not as you know light as this and they are a really good everyday kind of color it won't interfere with any of your makeup if you have a strong eye or you know have a not even no makeup on it still will look good and then the last one last lipstick is from Sisley so this is from their Sisley Phyto collection I'll put it on the bottom so this one I love the the packaging it's got Sisley on the side and it's got Sisley actually on there I'm almost done with this one it's got S there which I love and um, but this one is probably one of my most expensive lipsticks this one will cost you over 30 pounds but I think it's worth money and the packaging is next to none so it's really hefty really really good and then the last two are very oh sorry one more so one um, lip glosses so this one is also from Chanel and it's from there it's not the um, Glossimus it's from the another gloss line which is Rouge La Extra de Gloss probably my pronunciation is very bad but again this is another really really brown colors the formula of these they are thicker than a um, Glossimer but the staying power is definitely longer and it's still really um, nice to wear it's not sticky either so the last one is from Dior so the Dior one is in fact I should have put it together with the um, Sisley the color are very very similar so this is Dior nude beige in 333 so they originally had I had the very kind of early really first um, packaging which it was the same kind of tube um, but in iridescent kind of colors and then um, the number back then was 222 and then when they changed the packaging this color got into the 333 but I can show you they are the same um, this is also called nude the colors are very similar to the Sisley ones in fact the Sisley one is really moisturizing the phyto line claims to be giving you 30% um, more moisture on your lips so probably why they cut so much so that's all my brown lipstick lipsticks and glosses so I still really like the brown colors which why I have quite a few of them Let's go on to the pinkish nude colours. The first one is from Gemma Kit. So this is the Gemma Kit one, which is a twist up one. Um, I will put the name on the bottom. I'm not sure which kind of colour, kind of line it is that has the same packaging as the Chanel one. The colour is 
these kind of pinkish nudes so they've got a pink undertone to which makes them really you know makes them really really wearable so that's the color so it's much more sheer than a lot of other lipsticks but they are quite shiny and really comfortable to wear they've got a um, vanilla kind of smell and then the next one is a MAC one so I don't have a lot of MAC lipsticks simply because I don't really like their textures I don't think they are moisturizing enough and also if I want something you know apart from the color I would go for a high-end one because um, they just feel more comfortable but this one I love the color and it was a limited edition so sorry again but if you can find it this is the the fairy and this is the color so again really really nice nude I used to put I believe these as a lip combo so the fairy and the cream sheen in boy bait let me just put them together so they just gives a really really nice kind of milky pinkish nude colors kind of lip. so that's a really nice combo the other one is the Revlon lip butter so this one is the number one pink truffle I have another one which is the butter um, number two I believe the very very light the only beige ones but I can't find it anywhere um, I might have lost it so I'm really sorry about that but that one um, hopefully you find swatches somewhere but that one is very very light this one not as tall this is a very reddish kind of pink nude it's still got a beige tint to it so um, and it's quite opaque when you put quite a few layers on so that's the Revlon one and then I have a few lip glosses so they are all on the same kind of pinkish kind of tone so the first one is from Laura Mercier so this is the Laura Mercier Mystic Mauve so that's the gloss so and the other one is from Revlon so this is their nude luster number four which is a really really famous one I believe and I it is one of my favorites as well these lip glosses are just so good and they are on par with all the high-end lip glosses they're so comfortable to wear um, and the colors just really really nice creamy kind of uh, milky colors not milky creamy colors so let me just put these two together so that's the Laura Mercier one and that's the um, Revlon one so this one has definitely got this mauve tone to it no wonder it's called mauve something mauve mystic mauve and then last but not least are two lip liners so the first one is from number seven this is a twist up pen which means um, I find all the twist up pens ones are very creamy they are much creamier than the the wooden pencil ones I'm not sure why it is but this one is um, from Laura Mercier again so this is their chestnut lip pencil and this is a wooden pen again and the texture is very very dry so as you can see I really have to kind of pop a scratch it but I guess with the drier texture it will last much longer so these colors are very similar and again it goes really really well with all these colors here I wouldn't use these kind of dark colors with the really light ones um, maybe the brown the brown can go but the light ones it just it will just make you really old-fashioned those kind of lip lines and I think that's all of it so hopefully there are some colors that um, you find interesting and if you want to see more photos I will put them all in my blog as well and if you want to know the names of the all the lipsticks please see them down at the information bar below so hopefully you enjoy this video I will do another one for the pinkish colors and also another one for coral colors I'll see you next time bye bye